The suffering of all creation is everywhere around us, and we see it in pollution, destruction, and waste. And the truth is, though we can and should work against this suffering, we should try and stop and change it. We should also know that we will fail. We cannot fully eradicate the problems that cause the world to sigh. Nature itself knows this, and so nature doesn't put its hope in humanity, and neither should we. The only true solutions to it all are provided by God. He will, he promises, one day give us a new heaven and a new earth, free from pain and waste and brokenness, and full of his loving presence, making all things ideal. He will bring us to himself in this paradise, and it will be great. But that's not the only solution. In fact, he's also done something that's essentially the opposite of that passage you read from Revelation. Instead of taking us up to his paradise, God has come down into our destruction. Jesus became part of the broken creation, felt its hurt, and lived in it. He suffered a pain greater than every other innocent victim in nature throughout history. And in doing so, he removed the brokenness that sin had put between us and God and restored our connection to life. On a day-to-day -day basis, it's his unending, infinite life that is in us and gives us hope. A hope which is a certainty when we know Jesus that we will be with God in this new, perfect, flawless creation, just like it should have been all along.